What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where we have the Monroe MK1, which is a brake-shaped electric off-roader with up to 375 horsepower. Check this thing out because Monroe Vehicles today took the wraps off of his first ever vehicle, the MK1 electric off-roader. And the company claims that the MK1 is an SUV that's as rugged and capable as it is eco-friendly. Now, depending on the ticked option box, the Monroe MK1 offers either 295 horsepower, 220 kilowatts, 299 PS, or 375 horsepower, 280 kilowatts, 381 PS, and up to 506 pound-feet, 700 newton meters of torque. Now, unlike most other electric all-wheel drive SUVs, this comes from just one motor instead of motors at each axle. And Monroe chose to use a single electric motor because of its intense focus on off-roading. The power unit is placed in the middle of the SUV to help it achieve near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution. It also allows a perfect torque distribution. And after much deliberation, the team chose to go with an axial flux motor. The unit weighs half as much as a more common radial flux motor, 88 pounds, 40 kilograms in the case of the Monroe MK1. That also means that the motor spins slower, eliminating the need for a reduction drive, which allows the torque to go straight from the motor to the two-speed transmission to the transfer case and work in its most efficient RPM range at all times. Now, axial flux motors also generate high torque in reverse, which means that the regenerative braking is particularly strong. There is also, of course, a heavy-duty mechanical braking system. And although Monroe is clear that it's focused on off-road performance, it says that the motor can get the MK1 up to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers, in just 4.9 seconds, with the top speed being limited to 80 miles per hour, 129 kilometers, though. And in terms of battery, the Monroe MK1 will be offered with either a 61 kilowatt or 82 kilowatt battery pack offering up to 190 miles, 306 kilometers of range. It's made up of NMC battery modules that are mounted in heavy duty aluminum boxes under the vehicle. And Monroe didn't want to use a skateboard chassis because they want the MK1 to be more durable. So the company says it wants to be able to refurbish or replace the battery modules as necessary. So the batteries can be recharged also overnight with a standard plug or in just in 30 minutes with a DC fast charger. Now the MK1 sits on the galvanized steel ladder chassis and is constructed of 5 millimeter 0.19 inch thick steel. It has 480 millimeters, 19 inches of ground clearance, and the ability to wade through the water at a depth of around 800 millimeters, 31 inches, and 84 degree approach with 51 degree departure angles, as well as a 148 degree breakover angle. Now Monroe makes its own axles, so for coilovers, the radius arms, and also the steering bars, Monroe turned to 4x4 competition specialists to deliver high performance capabilities and a center locking differential comes standard where the front and rear locking diffs are offered as options. Now the MK1 is also big enough to hold the standard Euro pallet in the load bay, so it can haul around 1,000 kilograms, 2,205 pounds, and can tow up to 3,500 kilograms, 7,716 pounds. Although Monroe has worked to add rubber and soft materials to reduce NVH and improve cabin comfort, it remains a utility vehicle. Now the company is already taking deposits for the first batch of the Founders Edition models that will be built at its headquarters in Scotland. A new purpose-built factory is being built in central Scotland with a production plan to start there in 2024. And Monroe will initially produce 250 units per year, but claim they will eventually rise this figure to 2,500 examples. Now, price for the off-roader start at 49,990 pounds, 61,054 US dollars at the current exchange rates. So with that said, what do you guys think about this first electric off-roader built by Monroe, the MK1? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll have a bigger discussion on the new Monroe MK1. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate the extra love, guys. You can also support by checking out the Ron's Rise merch link or check out my social media links as well. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.